So the quantum materials program, um, you know, started almost 30 years ago. And uh, the reason why it's been so successful over the years is that it, it, it brought together three types of experts that are essential for making uh, discoveries in our field, in the field of materials. The CIFAR quantum materials program has a very long history of, of bringing together uh, three different groups of people, those who synthesize uh, new, uh, new materials, those who conduct cutting edge physics experiments on them, uh, and theorists uh, who, who develop new mathematical models of, of these new types of quantum behaviors. So we're going way back, we had the Stone Age, and then you know, the Bronze Age and the Iron Age, and we're living, for the last few generations, we've been living in the Silicon Age. We are now at the dawn of a new age called the quantum age. And this is an age where we will see a new kind of technology called quantum technology. There's a huge uh, variety of, of, uh, of different sorts of quantum technologies that are, exist or are being contemplated. You know, the most direct quantum technology in some sense that maximally utilizes the quantumness of materials is quantum computing. Yes, the key was really to bring these three different kinds of experts, you know, the materials experts and the theorists and the experimentalists, to do this across the planet. But the other thing, of course, is that it's an interdisciplinary exercise, and, and that's what CIFAR can do. It can allow you to bring communities together that don't meet naturally. So I'm extremely excited 